Also happening right now at 11, the search is on for several young men after a woman says she was violently attacked walking on a golf cart path in Peachtree City. Tonight, that woman's husband is speaking out, hoping that neighbors' home surveillance systems may have caught something to help out in the investigation. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live for us tonight in Peachtree City. And Cody, how is that woman doing tonight? Well, Jennifer, she's still shaken up. In fact, she's having to go to counseling due to the trauma she experienced. Now, while she was not ready to talk about the attack herself, her husband just wants these men caught. Sunday, October 1st, inside the Cedarcroft subdivision in Peachtree City. She got home between 6 and 7 and uh, took the dogs out. Martin Saunders says as his wife was walking their dogs on the golf cart path near their home, all of a sudden, there was a golf cart coming towards her. It had about six older teenagers on it, uh, guys, and two of them were hanging off the side. Saunders says his wife gestured for them to slow down. She's a New Yorker, and if you're pummeling down a golf cart trail on your teenagers and you're trying to walk your dogs and you're scared they're going to eat your dogs, she's not scared of yelling out, slow down. And one of them grabbed her by the hair and they dragged her for a bit. She got cut up pretty bad. Her jeans were ripped, um, bleeding. While face down... She said one of them touched her inappropriately all over. And then the driver apparently yelled out, just shoot her. Fortunately, they didn't. Now Saunders is worried. His wife's alleged attackers may get away with it. The police haven't been able to uncover anything yet. It's almost like it didn't happen, and it's very traumatizing for my wife. Saunders says he was not actually home when this happened. He was at the hospital dealing with some health issues when his wife reached out saying she had just been attacked. He says she called Peachtree Police and filed a report the next day. Okay, Cody, so a question here. Why are we just learning about this attack? It's been three weeks now. Jennifer, that's what everybody around Peachtree City is asking. What we have found out tonight is that a friend of the Saunders actually posted this on the Nextdoor app just a few days ago. That started to spread around the city. Yesterday, Peachtree Police came out 22 days later, posted it on their Facebook page, calling it an altercation. That's when we got wind of it and came down here today to start digging for some answers. What I can tell you is Peachtree Police told us today they hope to have some more answers for us by the end of the week.